When you're looking and talking to prospective companies to come to Athens, the number one issue is workforce. Businesses are going to have to move where people are going to choose to live. I don't think a lot of people understand what the arena is really going to do for Athens. We've already booked over 60 events for the new arena and over 90 event days, and we're a year and a half out from this thing opening. There's people that are going to travel all over the country, all over the world to see these really dynamic pieces. The energy will come in through the sun and it will generate over 1,000 megawatt hours. If you're going to be economically sustainable, you have to create a community in which people want to live. We all have the opportunity to help create an Athens that goes beyond the dreams that we have right now. The arena will complement a lot of what we already do here at the Classic Center, but there are certain things we can't do. We're limited in size and scope. And this arena is going to take us to that next level of bringing more people here to come try out Athens, and our quality of life is going to increase. When we thought about building this wonderful arena, we thought what better time to bring in community leadership and really think about a strategic plan that would go over the next five years. The beauty about this event space is that, you know, there was a lot of collaboration that went into it. You know, it's gonna be kind of the best of everything. This is about serving all of Athens. You know, we went out to a lot of community leaders, I think over 75 different community leaders and said, look, this is what we're thinking about doing. Are you number one supportive? and on board, and it was a resounding yes. We started having conversations about this idea of having the Georgia Music Hall of Fame in Athens at the new Classic Center Arena, which is a perfect place. So the Georgia Music Hall of Fame and Museum was a physical place that was in Macon, Georgia, and it closed in 2011. So it's been living in our high security, high density storage vault downstairs, 30,000 square feet, state of the art, and now we're really excited for that collection to be displayed at the new Classic Center Arena here in Athens. It's very exciting to be in a position where a research library has a collection like this that it's made available on so many different levels. Anyone coming to an arena event, they'll take a little bit of the Athens soul and spirit with them. It means hundreds of thousands of people a year are going to be able to learn about Georgia history from these primary sources, right? People find something that they remember from their own past, and I think it helps them see themselves in history. At the end of the day, if you want the bigger shows, somebody has to be able to leverage the resources to get those in. Right now, major concert dates sometimes are booked more than a year in advance. Having an endowment really allows us to take more chances to bring those larger acts in. We'll be able to do huge concerts, which we've never been able to do in Athens, about 7,000 to 8,000 people for those, which is about 85% of all national touring acts. And then we can show them how great of a venue it is, how great our fans are, and how great the experience is, and it becomes easier and easier to sell them on that the next time. Without a considerable reserve, a concert promoter in the 21st century cannot compete. The only way to be successful at this is to have solid financial reserves. I was in the housekeeping department, and that is where my career started. I really enjoyed it. You know, I was always taught to, you know, whatever it is that you do in life, be the best in it. I am currently the assistant general manager at the Hyatt Hotel, downtown Athens. I think for me, it's crazy to look back 12 years ago as an hourly employee, and here we are getting ready to open up an arena, and I'll be in charge of that. None of my career would exist without the investment that the Classic Center has made in me. I think there's a lot of opportunity for people to enter this building at an entry position and within a very short period of time become a supervisor or a department head. 
and people who come in and are department heads in this building can literally run any business, I believe, anywhere in the world. I think that the people that train here do an excellent job. They're really into customer service, which can lead over to any job. Those intern experiences, hands-on experiences, are extremely relevant. They can take that and apply that to a lot of different scenarios. They are one of the ideal places that I want my students to go, because you're going to learn hospitality there. And letting students get their hands on the business is where I think you're gonna see people really begin to learn and watch this community grow. The arena is gonna to continue to build upon the brand of Athens as a community that cherishes its music, that cherishes its hospitality, and that helps drive an economy that works for everybody. This whole thing is about far more than just a building. It's about far more than just bricks and mortar. It's about our community and about leaving this community a better place than we found it. We need everybody's support in Athens and the surrounding communities to help elevate the Classic Center Arena to the best venue in the state. Together, we can build a foundation of economic development to provide generational prosperity for the Athens area. We have the leadership and we have the vision. Now all we need is for you to make the Elevate Campaign a success. Marybeth and I are proud to support the Elevate Campaign. The new Classic Center Arena will elevate sports, entertainment, and education in many ways. We're all in on the Elevate Campaign. If it's good for Athens, it's good for the dollars.